is what it does what it could be today is wednesday august 29th it's about 10 a.m right now and um well actually let me see sorry it's 9 15. um i'm currently on a on my uh cardio my daily cardio routine i'm at the uh almost at six miles it's been 90 minutes um i try to do two hours every day uh, I, I do a mixture of walking, jogging, and sprinting in that two hours. Um, because, of course, I'm slim enough as it is. I'm trying to gain weight, but I like to do cardio just so I can uh, keep my stamina up. It's a good uh, stamina workout. Um, a couple days ago, I was watching a new uh, Gary Vaynerchuk video. I believe it was the... He was at some type of conference. He was on stage with um, a few different successful people. Uh, Common was next to him, the musician and uh, 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 actor, Common. Uh, he was also on stage with uh, a woman named Foo Styles, I believe is her name. I had never heard of her up until yesterday. Uh, she's big in Bitcoin and she likes to do a lot of like, um, she, she said something about, uh, she was getting tired of being the only woman at certain meetings, whether it was a Bitcoin meeting or certain meetings, um, involving like tech, she was just tired of being the only woman. So she started like her own women's, um, I think it's called women's Bitcoin or something like that. So women can get into the, uh, Bitcoin uh, industry but um, she mentioned and I think this was the name of the event that they were uh, speaking at was the chain exchange 2018 I believe uh, like I said it's on Gary V's uh, YouTube channel so you can find it there and uh, Foo Styles she mentioned they just they got to talking about different new technology and Foo Styles mentioned that she makes uh, $600 a month through um, Sweatcoin. Uh, there's a um, uh, app called Sweatcoin and there's also another app called Runtopia and uh, these apps they actually pay you to work out. They pay you for the amount of steps that you take. Um, Run uh, one of them you can transfer to PayPal. I believe it's Sweatcoin. You can like transfer your uh, sweat coins into PayPal to uh, get actual money. Uh, Runtopia, you can buy different products on their um, app. You can buy, they have like a, a specific pair of like Runtopia shoes that I guess makes it easier for you to track your steps. Um, you can buy different shirts and um, I haven't done a lot of research on the website so on the uh, app sorry so I'm not sure if you can um, like exchange the Runtopia money for um, actual money or uh, uh, Amazon vouchers or anything like that but um, I will link them both below so you can check it out for yourself see what you think of them um, it's uh, one of those apps that it's best to leave your location on because it, like I said, it tracks your steps, so it tracks better with the locator on, but I'm not sure if you have to leave location on. I think that just improves the um, accuracy. So, and like I said, don't quote me on that because I've only known about the apps, uh, not even 24 hours. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that and the fact that, um, as you all know, I am still in Jonesboro, Georgia, which is about uh, 35 minutes outside of Atlanta. And this neighborhood is, this neighborhood is one of the first neighborhoods, it may be the first, honestly, to my recollection, the first um, black, um, semi-affluent uh, uh, neighborhood. Like, it's a nice, cul-de-sac uh, well not even a cul-de-sac because it's so it zigzags everywhere there's um 
a lot of different roads that you can take. It's a it's basically a maze, but usually when I'm in neighborhoods like this, it's majority white and you'll see a few minorities. But this one, I, I've i seen a couple of white families, but it's majority black. And I love that um, just because it's not something that I've seen. Um, like I said, I can't think of ever seeing something like this literally ever in life. It's not, it's not the ghetto or the hood. It's not a bad neighborhood, quote unquote. It's not a poor neighborhood. Um, these houses look amazing. The vehicles in front of the houses look amazing. Um, they actually take care of the houses. The yards are mostly all cut and it's just um, very motivating for me, very uh, inspirational um, to see something like this in the United States. I, it's, I don't, it's, it's such a weird feeling. Like I've been in this world 28 years and I've never seen something like this that I can think of. Um, uh, my dad lives in Marietta, Georgia, which is about uh, an hour from here. And uh, even his neighborhood, it's majority white. There's a few black uh, families, but it's majority white. So yeah, this is something inspirational um, for a lot of people that just assume, oh, if it's a black community, uh, there's no money involved and it, it's um, a bunch of poor people trying, just trying to scratch to make it. Well, this is something that can inspire you to say, hey, we, we, there are some, there are still some places where we're not looked at as less than. So, um, yeah, I thought it was quite fascinating. But I'm going to get off here, uh, continue my cardio. I've got about 25, uh, 20 minutes left. And uh, then I'm going to head inside and uh, get my daily oats. So um, thank you for watching this video. Like I said, the links to um, both of the uh, um, uh, uh, apps that I mentioned earlier will be linked. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you for continuing to watch my journey. And once I get to the finish line... It's going to be sweet and it's going to be something that you can look at to keep you moving forward to whatever your journey is in life. Adios. Have a wonderful day. I love you all.